All right, good people, it is time for the love talk of the day. I had the pleasure of being with the Center of Hope Church family in Inglewood, California, and um, their marriage works ministry on Saturday. And there was something, me and my husband hosted a panel, and it was really, uh, really fun um, with all the couples, but there was a reoccurring thing that we kept talking about, and that was suppressing and ignoring your emotions, suppressing and ignoring things that are important to you. Listen, if you are in a relationship, you do yourself a great disservice by ignoring what you feel and just going over it, right? And that is the way you end up with an explosion. You know how you take a bottle of soda and you shake it up and then it explodes? That's what happens when all these emotions and questions and, and things that you have a problem with or the things that you're curious about start taking place in your soul, in your mind, in your body, and you find yourself being more irritable, being... um. Um, less attentive because there's something going wrong and you figure uh, it don't matter anyway. They're not going to listen. We never communicate well, so you don't talk about it. Listen, the Bible talks clearly about communication and making sure you speak your truth and making sure the Bible even tells you if you have an alt with your brother, leave the altar, aka stop praying, put your Bible down and go talk. Go work it out. Go get things together. So there's somebody, I'm sure, that is listening to us this morning. But there's a difficulty. There's a lump in the road. There's a bump in the road. There's something you've been sweeping under the carpet and it's a big old lump under your carpet and you're trying to ignore it and you just can't anymore. Pray about it first. Ask God to lead you. But by all means, don't suppress the information in your heart. It can lead to depression. It can lead to sadness. It can lead to all kinds of things that can really affect you being your absolute best. Do we have to work through our emotions? Absolutely. Will we have times of being sad and broken? Absolutely. And listen, even after you have the conversation, there may, may be some time that it takes to recover from whatever this conversation was. But do not suppress. Don't let it explode. Don't wait till it gets too overwhelming and you have to go screaming. Just take a moment. Maybe you go to dinner somewhere. Maybe you go for a walk, go to the beach, go to the park and just talk. Of course, you know you can't do it at a restaurant or in a movie theater. So go somewhere to a nice private but public place like a beach or a park and just have a conversation and pray first. Let them know there's something or heard there's something on your heart that you haven't talked about and today you want to address it. All right, I'll be praying for you and your relationship and you pray for me and mine. That's the love talk for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Love you and I mean it, all right?